they've lost players uh, anant but they've brought in players like Jorge Pereira Diaz and uh, and Greg Stewart from Jim Shaper to balance it out. Uh, according to you, do they look stronger than last season? And is top four a bare minimum for Mumbai City FC this season? You know what? Even though they had an underwhelming season last time around, I remember those last two games that they lost out on, and that could have been the difference between Mumbai making it and Kerala not. And eventually, Kerala made it to the final. There were fine margins in an ISL season. I think Des was still figuring his way around his best squad. I, I feel like. what they've done now in the transfer window with they they made a statement obviously it's signing diaz and signing greg stewart also somebody like a roston griffiths comes to mind the yes. one problem mumbai had was that when they thought the game was in their control they start they would leak goals and defensively they had issues murtada falls really got to have the season that that he did when mumbai city fc won the double of the shield and the cup if murtada falls has a poor season or should we say an average season again then they're going to struggle again because mumbai will give you all the glorious football going forward but it's really yeah. behind where things get a little difficult and i think what they'll really benefit from and as a fan i feel is roland borges coming back into the side into this side oh, um no, yes no. there's apuya obviously you've got greg stewart now with all the attacking flair but roland borges just adds that extra layer of uh, security and protection which mumbai i think lacked sometimes uh, last season and again those last two games they, they hadn't lost you know things could have been different for them but that also gives a chance now for des to say minimum top 4 if not top 2 and let's try and get the yeah. double again